So before we go inside the cabinet and discuss the back plate and the arrangement of elements, let's see what are typically the components we will encounter on the door. So this is a nice example. It has all the typical elements you would encounter in addition to this one. So first of all you would probably have a main switch. You would have two basic versions. So either the switch disconnector like here and this is an example from Siemens. Two basic versions. Black or red and yellow. These do not have a protection possibility. They just disconnect your circuit, so your power supply. And then if you have bigger cabinets with a lot of kilowatt installed and so on, in that case you would probably use a circuit breaker. You would have a circuit breaker and then the door handle and example of this one would be this from Siemens type of mounting fixed mounted you could now configure all the data and select the one you need for your specific application so either switch is a disconnector or for bigger enclosures with a lot of kilowatts circuit breaker Another thing, which is a good practice, is to have these three pilot lights, lamps, which are just going to signal, indicate the presence of all the phases. So L1, 2 and 3. I normally use color yellow, but this depends on the customer and how they are used to it, to which colors to indicate the presence of the phases. Another thing you could probably encounter is the emergency stop push button. This depends on the project itself, the industry, customer and so on, and the standards of course. And then the HMI. If your cabinet is a technology cabinet and the operators need to set something up or change something on the HMI, you would probably have one mounted on the door of your cabinet. Then the last thing is a climate control system. There are two basic versions of course, the fans, the ventilation or AC unit. This depends on the heat dissipation and the conditions of the environment where your cabinet is going to be installed and whether you have, of course, elements inside your cabinet which are dissipating a lot of heat, such as variable speed drives. Normally, they pose a problem in this case. I have a separate course about heat dissipation, so you can check that out. And that's pretty much it. So, the main switch, and then climate control system, the lamps, the emergency stop push button, or and HMI if your cabinet is a technology cabinet. So, operators need to from time to time, change something, set up something and so on.